Okay, next up we have Rogue. So Rogue doesn't have any cards here, but I know one card got revealed, so we're gonna look at that afterward. Shaman. Mm, Shaman. One of the best cards of the expansion, I think. Overdraft. So one mana spell. Uh, unlock your overloaded mana crystal to deal that much damage. So if you're overloaded by three, you unlock your mana crystal and you deal three damage. And it's tradable. So when you're not overloaded and you know you're not gonna get overloaded for a long time, you throw it away and you draw another card. For one mana too. I, I don't know. It feels like a twin spell choose one between drawing cards or the effect that is on the on the stuff. And oh my god, I don't know. Like some people were like, dude, is it, is it not like an or instead of the two deal damage? It's like or deal that much damage? No, 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 it's really two. So it's kind of poor crap uh, lava burst, except when you overload by one. And even then, it's one mana, so it's half the cost for half the damage. It's it's Borocraft Lava Lava Shock. It's Borocraft Lava Shock and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun in either Burn deck or in the Giant deck uh, from Labor Song. Like, I like his deck. He's really fun. He, like, he basically Dog Lair but in Shaman with the Spirit of the Frog. And with the Spirit of the Frog it's nice to have a one mana spell, I guess. So this is a really good card. Really packing a lot of value. Not really value, but effectiveness in one card, and I love that. Uh, next up is... Next up is Tiny Toys. So summon four random five cost minions, make them two twos. So... That's interesting. You have six stats. No, not six stats. Eight stats. Eight eights on stats for six mana. Okay. Spread onto four minions. And they're all five costs. So, obviously, you think about Evolve when you look at that. You have the weapon on five into this on six. It's okay. You can compare this to uh, Double Gangster. Double Gangster is three five costs to two. This is four five costs to two. And like they might have an effect, like there is not a lot of five cards that have a negative effect, like on Death Rattle. I don't see a lot of them. So this is, I don't know. In Evolve Shaman, the problem with Evolve Shaman is reactiveness, right? You only have Broom, if you don't take the board early on and you don't have your combo early on, you lose the game, basically. So if this card, Good for the deck though? We've seen people running the Doppel Gangster with the Shadow Walk just to have some kind of finisher. Is this enough to finish the games? Like, do you run this and the Doppel Gangster? I think we might be going into uh, a deck building phase where you run this, the Doppel Gangster, you don't run anything else above. You don't run anything else above and you full on go for the weapon and the combo you have in the deck. Like the Evolve uh, Desert Hair. I like it. I, I like it. I'm not sure about the pool of 5 cost minions. Uh, but if you run um, Lightning Bloom, this is a 4 mana card. That's pretty good. Oh yes, and the other... Eh, okay, so one problem with the card, it's not nature. So in Evolve you like to only have nature spell like Lightning Bloom and Evolve, or maybe only Evolve, and uh, Ice Fishing. So by putting this in too, that would kind of fuck with the, uh, the Dungeoneer. And that's not good because Dungeoneer is a pretty good card. So yeah, we do. we'll see, we'll see. Um, Shaman, we have another one, really exciting one. I'm gonna see after Twitter afterward. Let's talk about the um, the Demon Seed for Warlock. So the quest line: take six damage on your turns. Reward life steal deals three damage to the enemy hero. Oh, thank you. So I guess 
And I guess, right? Uh, you take 6 damage to the all 3, so basically deal 3 damage to yourself. It's okay. Uh, of course, when you see the all damage to yourself, you're thinking Dagler, and I was like, if you listen to the uh, the TS video I did, I was like, no, no way you play that in Dagler. But uh, since then, new things have emerged, and uh, there might be a possibility that you play that in Dagler. Then the next one is take 7 damage, reward is the same, then take 8 damage, and then the reward is like every damage you do to yourself, on your every damage you take on your turn, goes to your opponent instead. And this counts the fatigue too. And fatigue, like, it scales up really quickly. So you have two ways of doing this. You have a way where you're doing the self-mill warlock, right? You take damage on your turn, you mill yourself, you empty your deck, and you play that, and your opponent is going to take the fatigue, not you. Or you have a way, when you take Dogler, you cut uh, Tamsmin, you cut the POs, uh, you hard tech against aggros, like double Rain of Fire, double uh, Spellstone, double pen, double Penance, or like dra Drain Soul, and you play the quest. Just because you're like, you win against aggro, and this auto wins against control. This is a list I've seen on Twitter, and the more I think about it, the more I think that it might have potential. It's lower into control than the older list, but do you care? Like, against Reno decks? I guess no. I guess this is not the real way to do it, but... <sighs> Still... It might be too slow for Reno decks, right? Against Reno deck you won't burst damage, so they can't clear your board every turn. You won't burst damage because, yeah. Against Rune Deck, you won't burst damage because they're going to try and clear your board every turn. So you want to go all in one turn and just end the game. This one is not ending the game on the spot. It's more like grindish. So is it going to be fast enough? I don't know. But I s I'm seeing the version where it could work. And yeah, that's kind of scary. <laughs> So Warlock again, we have the the weapon. We've talked about that in the TTS. Srimana 2 uh Srimana O2. Uh after you draw four cards, reduce the cost of cards in your hand by one lose one durability. Haha <laughs> Cost reduction in Warlock, what could go wrong? Hmm? A lot of things. Uh this is gonna enable so many combo warlocks. Mechatoon I don't do you even need that in McToon? Maybe. Maybe you do. Maybe you do want that also. But in Maligos, I'm thinking Maligos, I'm thinking that like some kind of combo where you have multiple ways of doing the combo. So this means multiple combo pieces, potential. And Maligos seems really good. This is the first thing that comes to mind. On Dogler, if you can the PO though, I said in TTS that it was not going to be playing Dagler because you have Tamsmin PO, but if you cut PO and Tamsmin, <laughs> it's slower, so it's really slowing the deck, right? It's slowing the deck, but making it way better against Aggro. So maybe you don't run that. I don't know, it's weird. <sighs> but we have Touch of the Nathrezim. Deal to damage to a minion, if it dies, restore full health to your hero. Uh, yeah, Dagler. You, you, yes, yes. This is so good in Dagler. It's, I don't know. It's one mana. It's one mana to kill a minion and gain full health. Basically takes the spot of Drain Soul. Maybe even of Spellstone. It's gonna depend on the meta on this. But it takes the spot of one of the two. And like, you never die. You, you just never die. Your flesh giant is out faster again. It re it's like slow the, the the turn where your molten giant is gonna come out. But against aggro you don't care. Like you want the flesh, the flesh one. And even if they go all in, you have the molten. I don't know. It seems so good in Dagler. In Reno, I think it's good too. Like it's so good, so 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 good. It's really good anti-aggro card. 
Uh, I know they did it for uh, Standard War Warlock, but it's kind of scary. Demonic Assault. Deal 3 damage, summon 2 one, 3 Voidwalker with Taunt. So you can compare that with Implosion. Right? Uh, the old Warlock spell, for those of you that were there, back in the day, deal 2, 2, 4 damage to minions, summon 1, 1 Imp for each damage dealt. So compare it like if this one dealt 3, uh, which was the, the medium, uh, the average, sorry, you summon 3 one ones. Is 3 one ones better or worse than 2, 1, 3 with taunt? It's worse. Every time. Is 4 one one better or worse than uh, 2, 1, 3 with taunt? It's worse. It's kind of the, it's kind of the same, but it's worse to just in terms of stats. <sighs> that's that's good. That's better than implosion. Does it mean it's good? No, I think it's too fair. And like dealing for for four mana, you want something impactful in the wild. Like you want a Kazakus, you want an Hysteria, you want a lot of things. And summoning one threes. I've seen like the one threes are never, never the bad thing, right? And you see one three, you're like, okay, I mean, I can deal with that. It's not, not too hard. So yeah, not really, uh, not really impressed by the card. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see, but I don't think it's really good. Shady bartender, five and a minion, four four with treadable. Battle cries gives your minions plus two plus two, gives your demons plus two plus two. Sorry. So, we had a Fauna card, Crystal Weaver, Battle Cry gives your demon plus one plus one. It was a four mana 5 4. You can compare it a bit. So, this one has tradable. If you get it in Mulligan, you send it away. It's basically in some kind of zoo, right? You want this in some kind of zoo as the top end with like a Doom Guard. And it might be a bit too slow. It might be just be too slow, but like the amount of stats you get, it's kind of insane. The amount of stats you can get. And like people were saying, yeah, but like if you don't have the board, yeah, but like if you do, if you go full on zoo, I feel like you always have the board. I don't know why. But like between Dark Lair, uh, Marcus or Imp, if you want to go for um, this card. Uh, but especially raised it, right? We don't see raised it here, but like raised it gives you two resources back. Like you would look at that and something in the between, like discard warlock and cute warlock in terms of speed, right? Something like that, something faster than uh, discard warlock maybe, like on the same stuff, but slower than uh, cute lock, but you have more. Resiliency, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. It seems kinda slow though. <sighs> Maybe I still want to play the Formula 1 instead. I'm gonna have to test. Next up, Warrior. Ooh, this is my jam. But uh, unfortunately, not for now. So, Lotto. Legendary 7 mana 7 7. At the end of your turn, attack a random enemy minion. If it dies, gain plus 3 plus 3. So. <laughs> Attacking random enemy minions has uh, never been good. It's a body that gains stats, so you want, you kind of want to play that in some kind of mid rangeish warrior. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit hand buff warrior at all. I feel it's too slow, like the version we play in wild. And um, in standard, I can see that fitting perfectly, like as in the top end. But. I don't know, it feels a bit too slow. Right, the effect, it's not always gonna work. Uh, if you're still really in the game at 7 mana, you might as well just buff your hand and play charges. I don't know. It seems a bit weird. I don't see that really going well. I'd rather play, to be fair, I'd rather play a troublemaker than this one. Yeah, I would rather play Troublemaker than Lothar, I think. Maybe I'm 100% wrong and this is OP, but yeah. Shiver the Timbers. Shiver their Timbers. One mana spell, deal 2 damage to minion. Okay, standard. If you control a pirate, deal 5 instead. 
you never play that in Pirate Warrior. Like, why would you play that? You don't need that in Pirate Warrior. So Pirate Warrior, there is like a great way to see it. Right? Great, great way to see it. So basically, you have the face, right? This is you, okay? Face, attack, this is a, a weapon. Attack minion. Okay? Your minions, I don't know how to write. Your minions attack the face. Right? And your spells, your spells, you don't have spells because you don't need one. Because your face is attacking the minions. Right? Easy. So, it doesn't fit the, the schematics. It's bad. <laughs> no, really, you don't need that in Pirate Warrior. And it's mid-range-ish, some kind of menagerie? No, not either. You don't want that. You want minions. Heavy plates. So, I'm, I don't know about this card. 3 mana, tradable, gain 8 armor. It's weird. It's really weird. Um, do you want that in Odd Warrior? Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Uh, you're not going to use it just now, right? Just on the spot. You might trade it a lot of time. Right? That's, this is one of the cards where you trade it a lot of time, I think. I think. This is Psycho in Odd Warrior, a deck that desperately needs this one more. I mean, needs more. You, you have the, the cold light, but if you manage to not run the cold light, I think that you're happy. Except if you run the brand cold light version that tries to mill the opponent. But in some kind of uh, a meta that is more aggro-ish, I could see that. I could see that going in. I could see that going in. Uh, but compared to shield block, or like the two mana spell that gain 10 armor and reduce the cost of opponent's minion by by two, I don't, it's weird. It's really weird. I'm not, I'm not sure about this. And finally, the neutrals. One of the best legendary for wild, I think. A 6 mana 4 5. At the start and end of each player's turn, draw a card. So basically, you play that. You end your turn, you draw a card. Uh, they start their turn, you draw a card. Maybe they don't kill that. So they end their turn, you draw a card. You start your turn, you draw a card. So at worst, it's a 6 mana 4 5, draw 2 card. Uh. This is the top end of every even Paladin and Shaman. This is really good in mid-range deck. Even decks more bad, particularly, I think. Even decks love this card. Maybe not even Warlock because you already have so much to roll. Even decks love this card, even mid-range deck. Do you play that in non-even decks? Uh, maybe, maybe you do, maybe you do. Like. I'm thinking like just hunt buff, hunt buff warrior. Imagine on five you hunt buff, and you play some of the stuff, and you play that afterward. It's a six seven, so it's an ogre that draws two cards, and they already had to deal with your board early on. <laughs> That's really good. I think that this is gonna be really good. You're gonna see a lot of them. You're gonna see a lot of this card. Maybe not in the most optimized list, but you're gonna see a lot of this card. Varian, King of Stormwind. Speaking of uh, drawing cards, 8 mana 7 7, so not really good on the stat side. Battlecry, draw a rush minion to gain rush. Repeat for taunt and divine shield. So at best, it's an 8 mana 7 7 with taunt, rush, and divine shield. So it's gonna take at least two trades, and you're gonna draw three cards. Which one, one of the cards is going to get you one trade, the other one is going to be defensive, and the other one is going to be annoying for your opponent. This is also good. Not as good as the other one, I don't think so. I don't think it's as good as the other one. But it's good. You can compare this one to... Uh, how is it cool? 7 mana legendary. Uh, 
Um, neutral. We had it in Witchwood. Where is it? Countess Ashmore. Battle cry, draw a rush lifesteal death rattle card from a deck. So you could draw uh, spells and weapon with this too. But uh, this didn't do anything on the spot. It was a 6 6, that didn't do anything. The other one, you take a trade and it has taunt afterward. Right, it ha it's a 7 7 taunt after. I don't know. Seems better than Ashmore. You can also compare it to the curator. Don't draw a Murloc Beast Dragon. Okay, but this one doesn't take a trade. And this is way more restrictive. Like Beast Dragon and Murloc, way more restrictive than having just Taunt Rush and something like that. I'll see people play that in uh, Shadow Walk Shaman, Reno Shaman. Uh, they, of course, people are going to play that. I don't think it's going to be really good. But people are going to play that. I know they will. I know they will. Uh, Flying Master Dungar, so we're not going to talk about this one because we already have it and we know that it's trash. This one though. <laughs> I love that the team made a fucking South Park reference in the game. So Elwin Bull, 1 mana 1 1, Beast, Death Rattle, if you had 7 Elwin Bull die this game, equip a 15-3 Sword of the Thousand Truths. Yes, there we go. After your hero attacks, destroy your opponent's mana crystal. <laughs> So this is the expansion of the OTKs, right? In Priest, like a small Resurrect Priest, we like raised it, uh, you can draw it with the Diving Instructor, you have the Twilight Call, you have Insight, you have... In Priest, this is the best way to do it. And I'm gonna do it, because it's gonna be fun. Not gonna be competitive, but it's gonna be fun. Like, one hit of this, and your opponent is kind of dead, except he's a place less to alignment. So anyway, it doesn't matter what you do to them. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they're always gonna have one mana afterward. So it doesn't do shit to get Celestial. And I don't think you can proc it before turn 5. So last, we have uh, the Mailbox Dancer. 2 mana 3, 2, Battle Cry, add a coin to your hand, Death Rattle, give your opponent 1. So, this is good in... Uh, I can see that in multiple decks. Like Quest Mage, OTK Paladin, uh, some kind of combo. This is a this is a really good combo enabler. You don't play that in other decks, I think, because you don't want to give your opponent a coin if you don't use it perfectly yourself. Yeah, and it's good in a lot of combo decks. Pondaren Importer, Buttercry, discover a spell that didn't start in your deck. Uh, yeah, I still don't know what the fuck to do with this card. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? Tell me. Uh, I don't know. It's... Maybe you have some shenanigans when you run, like... Now, in, in the wild, it's not possible. In standard, you might do some shenanigans when you're, like, 28 spells. Right? I've seen, like, a combo with this in Shaman. You run every spell except Bloom and... Uh, how is it called? One mana deal three. Holy shit. This one, though, it's good. Uh, Streamer has 3 for Beast. Tradable. This is really important. Destroy your opponent's weapon. So, how many times have you put ooze in your deck because you were facing too much uh, aggro using weapons? And you faced Arena deck. Right? How many times? It's, a, it's happened to everybody. Everybody. And this is the problem with tech card. Where, when the meta is not all the deck you want to target, tech card are really trash sometimes. Uh, so having tradable on the tech card means that for one mana you can just have another card and not having this card just sitting in your hand doing nothing or you can play that as, as a 3 mana 3-4 three, can be good too I love this card it's, re it's a really really good tech card do we want ca tech card to be really really good? time will tell time will tell Next up, Inspiration Shopkeeper, 3 mana 3 3, tradable and rush. So this is way worse than the other one in terms of tech card with tradable. I don't like it a lot. Uh, 3 mana 3 3 rush is terrible. So the, giving you tradable doesn't make it formidable. That was pretty good. <laughs> Pison, 1 mana 2 1 at the start of your turn draw card. Okay, so 
this card like it's so good when you are first it's so bad where you earn the coin in a meta where mage is dominant this card is trash in a meta where uh where what where i don't know where a uh, hunter no not hunter warrior i don't know it's going to you're gonna have to test to see if it is good. I can see that going in Odd Demon Hunter just because you have so many one drops that needs to be answered immediately that maybe this one stays alive one or two turns. But either way, I don't know. It's re really gonna have to test to see. And lastly, uh, 4 mana 3 2 Spice Bread Baker. Restore health to your hero equal to your hand size. So. No. <laughs> Imagine having... No, it's... When you're gonna play that, and when you're upon, when you want to play that, it's not on turn 4, right? Or, if it's on turn 4, this means you're against aggro. If it's against aggro, this means you're gonna have to use card before, right? Just to answer a bit of the board. And this means this one is not gonna be more than 6, I guess. In average, it's gonna be 6 in general. Like in the full general, it's gonna be six. Is this better or worse than um, the fucking uh, bot? Right? Back from the junkyard? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe an even warlock, even then, not very good. So, this is all for the, the her spawn side, but we had some new cards, so let's see. Let's see. Um, Kundurfi Dagger, Battle Cry, gain a uh, random friendly Death Rattle that triggered this game. 4 mana, 4 2 weapon. I love this card. I don't know why, it's really fun. Uh, do you play that in the uh, the big dragon deck? Like with the 4 mana combo, you know, the Apothecary deck? Or do you still prefer the 3 mana weapon that triggered Death Rattle on Death Rattle? It's gonna depend on what big death rattle you're using. If you're using the dragon version, the Shimano weapon is still better. If you're using some other version, maybe this is better. Maybe. We never know. And maybe we can do some kind of tempo... Tempo death rattle deck? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Okay. So... At the end of your turn, Reduce the cost of a card in your hand by 1. 3 mana, 2, 4. 50% chance to increase instead. So to increase means that it has 50% chance of increasing the cost of a card in your hand by 1. So this is trash. <laughs> I'm not paying a, two, a 3 mana, 2, 4 to increase card in my hand. No. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Hallelujah. Pray the Shaman Clan. Uh, two mana, f one for legendary Bolner Hammerbeak. 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 After you play Battlecry Minion, repeat the first Battlecry play this turn. Yes. 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 Quest Shaman, Reno Shaman, uh, Shadow Walk Shaman, every Shaman. This is good. I, I love it. I love it. Boltzmann says. This card is so hype, it's literal 5 out of 5. Looks really fun, definitely will try this in Reno. I 100% agree. I love this card. I'm gonna play it in a lot of shaman decks. It's gonna be really fun. I love it. Thank you, Blizzard. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. And it has a good body. Like, you could just play that against aggro if you want to. Really good. Really, really good. And the last one, I think. Uh, 3 mana 3 2 weapon for Paladin. Uh, Lightbringer Hammer, a lifesteal, can't attack heroes. So, where do you want that? You want that in some kind of controlish pattern. So, like, I can see that fitting in OTK pattern, just because you need to remove the board and gain health. So, I can see that sliding in OTK pattern. Do you play that in Odd? No. Do you play that in Librum? No. No, I don't think so. Uh, do you play that in... Or maybe in Librum, though, actually. But you already have some shield. So no. Do you play that in... Mm, in what do you play that? Big Paladin? Yes, you play that in, I think. But that's it. 
was really good, but it had its place. I think that was the last one. We've seen every other one. Yeah. I think we did. Alright! So this wraps up the uh, the card review for now. Um, yeah, a lot of exciting cards. Like, this expansion has the potential to be one of the best expansions for Wild. Like, in on the top we have the Frozen Throne, we have Cobalt and Catacomb, we have Scholomance, and this one has the potential to go out there. Like, really, the number of draw cards we had, plus Tradable, which is the row 2, like, Tradable is gonna make so much of an impact in an Eternal format like Wild. I really hope they don't mess it up, and it's become evergreen as a keyword, like we see it in other expansion for Ward. I really hope. Like, so... How many cards do we have yet? How many cards? Uh, we have... 36 out of 135. Have you seen the number of good cards we had? Oh yeah, we had them there. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be really good. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to you know you do you click on the the little uh, the little like the little uh, bell uh, the little subscribe if you want. <laughs> uh, tell me if you if I missed anything for one of the card in the comments. Tell me if you have a good combo in mind. What do you hope for the next expansion? And yeah, I'll see you next video. Bye.